Well, on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing a simple and easy meatloaf so let's get right into the video here we have some warm milk so this is a cup of warm milk here and then we're gonna go in with a pack of easy quick rice instant yeast so guys you can leave this to set for about 10 minutes and then you add the rest of your ingredients but you can just go ahead and add your egg so this is a large egg I'm using then I'm gonna go in with my melted butter and here I'm adding some brown sugar you can go ahead and use the white sugar if you have that in your pantry and then we're gonna mix everything in So yes guys, this is one of our Jamaican favorite, you know, me love a juicy particle of that meatloaf. Hey, don't ramp with me. So here we're going to be adding three cups of flour. So I'm using the all-purpose flour guys. Feel free to use whatever flour you have in your pantry. And then we're going to go in with our salt. Yes, one teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna go in and mix for those who that have your mixer go ahead and use it but me I'm using my hands so take your time and gradually make sure you get everything the flour everything combined together yes guys so there it is my dough is coming along perfectly just the way I like it So what I'm going to do now guys is that I'm going to take the dough from the pan from my baking my bowl and I'm going to knead it in a little. Yes. So I'm placing it on a clean surface. My counter is very clean. So I'm going to knead this until it's soft and nice. And then I'm going to make it into a ball. So guys, you know you learn to do this, you don't have to go to the shop and buy any bread because you can simply well make some bread from this dough. You can make some dinner rolls, anything. Feel free to make anything you want to do. It's your own owned it. So now I'm turning this dough into a ball because I'm going to be placing it back into my bowl. But first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to put some oil in the, some olive oil in there so your dough don't stick at the bottom and we're gonna just leave that to rise see I'm coating everything so yes guys so now I'm gonna be adding a little bit on top of the dough so when we leave it to set it doesn't dry out so now I'm gonna be covering it so I'm setting this dough down for one hour so guys you can feel free to do your dough from overnight but this is my quick simple and easy way how to prepare my dough for my meatloaf so guys if you reach this far into the video please remember to like comment subscribe and share hit that notification bell guys so when I upload a video you will be notified and thank you for always making it Pals Island Kitchen. So here we have some ground beef, guys. So I went off camera and I cut up all my vegetables already. So now I'm going to add in some Cajun seasoning. Make sure you season your beef properly. So I'm using my Cool Runnings brand. Guys, look down in my description box below. You'll see a code PAL50. Go ahead and order yourself some of these amazing seasoning and tell me what you think about them because I tell you we can get the authentic taste from these amazing cool running seasoning. So here I make sure I knead everything in and now I'm going to be adding a little paprika into my beef and I'm going to mix it in. So this beef is well seasoned, you know, guys. I must say, you can take it all, make a burger too, if you know my chop. Yeah, 
just like that. So now I have my pot here. My stove is already on high heat, so I'm adding some olive oil, the LT way, yeah, for the 2022. So now I'm going to be sauteing my vegetables. So I have some carrot, I have some green onion, some onion, thyme, and some hot pepper. So I'm adding that to my pot right now. So I'm going to saute everything and then I add my beef. Look at that guys. If you could just smell the aroma coming from all these things in this kitchen. I'm so excited for you guys to see the finishing product of this amazing meatloaf. So for all my Jamaicans, Americans, all around the world, if you have ever had a meatloaf before, comment down in my description, my comment section and tell me how it tastes and if you really like it, you can take this recipe and make some at home for your family. So I'm adding my beef guys and I'm going to make sure I break it up and stir in all my vegetables so you're gonna make sure you get everything you're gonna start keep on stirring this until your beef is brown yes guys look at that mm. yummy yummy to my tummy I can just smell the aroma Mm, from all the herbs and spices So now guys I will be adding some flavor to my beef So I will be adding Pal's own style green seasoning <laughs> Yes guys So I add some beef broth and I also add a little, you know, a little zinc to it. I have something special that I put in my beef when I'm cooking it. And now I add a little bit of water in case you know our beef spring a lot of water, but I just add a little to it. Yes, guys. So here we go. So we're going to leave that to simmer a little and reduce a little bit of the liquid. So now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna be adding some plain breadcrumbs yes guys so when you place the beef into the dough do not get soggy yes so that's it so I'm gonna start that in and here we go guys our dough is ready so I make sure I press out all the gas and everything from my dough and I'm placing it back on my counter which was sanitized again so here we go we're gonna knead this in and then we're gonna add a little bit of flour on the counter and also on the dough so we're gonna roll <laughs> I enjoy doing this guys thank you so much for sticking around with me this far I hope you guys is enjoying this video because as much as I did I did enjoy this video with my kids because my kids also helped me so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this in two right now yes guys and then I'm gonna cut like this one into three Hmm, yeah, we can get three out of this. Yeah, very much so. And then we're going to take another three out of this one. So we have six pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape this into a ball.
So you're gonna fold that in and I'm going to repeat the process for all of these. So bear with me guys as we go along. And this is an easy and quick way to do your meatloaf. So for those my Jamaicans who is living overseas and miss some of these deliciousness, go ahead, watch this video and just get all your ingredients and follow step by step. You won't be disappointed. It was so delicious. I tell you. So here we have six ball. <laughs> six of them. So I'm sprinkling a little bit of flour and then I'm going to be pressing that down like making just making a dumpling. Yes, do like that. And then you're going to use your rolling pin to flatten it out. Yeah. Put some muscle into it, guys. Put some muscle into it. Put some muscle into it. I'm so excited. Mm. Come on, Paul, stop popping. Yes, guys, so you're gonna roll that in. And you know, for those who don't have any little, you know those little round thing, to cut it out. I would, I use one of my bowl or anything with round shape, depends on how you want it. Yes. So I'm gonna be using my bowl. <laughs> yes, guys, you know we have to use up every little thing we have in our pan, our kitchen. We take it and use it to master our hearts. Yeah, because cooking is like heart, right? So you enjoy every bit of it and every moment. So I'm gonna be basing that with some some white milk, and then I'm gonna go in with my beef. So guys, I did puree my beef. I forgot to show you that part of it. So you can go ahead and puree your beef. So I'm repeating the same process with every single one of these dough. Look at that. Wow. So base with your white milk. I did do some of them off camera to go a little faster. Yes. So guys, you know, sir, in a map kitchen, we send not no waste, and then you use your fingers to close it up, and then you get your fork, and then you make those little patterns. Yes, just like that. Meet the Flintstone, meet the Flintstone. Wow, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> when you have kids anything is possible you could be doing anything and singing those songs wow Ooh. Hmm. okay so here they go guys so we have what four and we're gonna put number five over there and make sure your oven is already preheated at 350 so I'm gonna be basing throwing some milk to um, mix everything together with the egg so we're gonna mix the milk and the egg together to coat to base our dough Look at all that, guys. So after you base this with the milk and the egg. So we're going to be covering this for 15 minutes so it can set and then we bake 
depends on your oven guys be very careful so here we are our meatloaves are ready mm -mm. in my house smells like juicy beef bakery <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. It's Pals Island Kitchen Bakery. Based with some melted butter, guys. Yes, look on them niceness there. Mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. Yabba dabba do. Wow. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. You know, you're the homie. You feel for some Jamaican something. Yeah, some of them treat them from Jamaica. And you just decided, man, you're gonna make it. So I'm gonna be breaking into this. Look on this, guys. Look how bird's eye soft. Mm. Look at that. That is magnificent.